physical ability test is, is composed of six stations designed to simulate actual evolutions that must be performed by firefighters working in emergencies. The physical ability test must be completed within seven minutes and is graded on a pass-fail basis. Passing this portion of the examination qualifies the candidate to move on to the next phase of the examination process. Traditionally, applicants with slight builds or those in poor physical condition have experienced difficulty with the physical ability screening process. The physical ability test is intended to be physically challenging. The test should only be taken by applicants who consider themselves physically fit. Applicants who are unsure of their own physical fitness should consult with their physician before taking the test. Applicants who participate in the physical ability test will be asked to sign a rele release of liability before proceeding with the test. All listed evolutions will be performed while wearing protective clothing and a weighted vest. Protective clothing and vest will be supplied by the fire department and includes helmet and gloves. This equipment must be worn at all times during the test. All applicants must successfully complete the physical ability test in order to proceed with the examination process. Failure to perform any of the six evolutions in a satisfactory manner will result in failure of the physical ability test and elimination from further consideration as a candidate for employment. Time will start at the beginning of the first evolution and will stop upon completion of the sixth evolution or when passing the seven minute allowable time. Applicants will be permitted to rest during any portion of the evolutions. However, timing will continue unchecked during any rest period. At no time during the physical ability test will applicants be permitted to run or jog. Running is defined as moving so quickly that both feet are simultaneously off the ground. Safety will be observed at all times during the test. If a candidate becomes sick or if it appears that he or she be could become injured, the test evaluator will stop the test. Applicants who successfully complete the first two phases of the testing process will qualify to appear before the fire department hiring task group for an oral interview. The six evolutions of the test are as follows. Simulated roof ventilation. Utilizing a Kaiser sled, the candidate will strike the sled with the provided dead blow hammer, moving the sled a designated distance. While standing on two runners, the applicant will strike the sled to the predetermined distance. The ladder carry. The applicant will approach the fire engine, remove a ladder, place it on the ground, and replace the ladder on the truck. The hose extension. Given a dry 200 foot length of hose, the candidate shall drag the hose for a distance of 200 feet. The applicant will approach 200 feet of dry 2.5 inch fire hose and nozzle which is extended accordion fold and grasp the hose. The applicant then moves forward until the entire 200 foot of hose is stretched out. The high-rise pack carry. The candidate shall advance a simulated department high-rise pack for a predetermined distance while ascending and descending stairs. The high-rise pack is placed on a stand, which is approximately the same height as a fire engine. Applicant picks up the high-rise pack from the stand, carries the pack a predetermined distance while ascending and descending stairs, and places it back on the stand. The hose raise. Given a section of three inch hose, the candidate shall demonstrate the ability to raise the hose a designated height and place it in a designated area. The applicant shall approach the edge of the railing and grasp the rope attached to the section of hose. Using a hand over hand method, 
they will raise the hose in a controlled manner, lifting it over the railing, then place it in the designated area. the body drag. Given a simulated fire victim with a weight of approximately 160 pounds, the applicant will approach the rescue dummy and drag the dummy for 120 feet to the finish line. 